News 6 continues to work with Secret Service to track fraudulent applications for small business loans. One case involved a tax number linked to nearly two dozen companies across the country. A local owner called us because someone else got the loan he needed. News 6 investigator Mike Holfeld has the story. I don't know how anybody would ever uh, come in contact with that number. Dan Gascoigne tells News 6 his company's employer identification number, the EIN, had been used in an apparent SBA application free-for-all. 20 different businesses in several states, all applying with his number. They didn't really understand what was going on. For the record, Gascoigne's All Four Lawns landscape business had been using that nine-digit tax ID number since 2012. Yet another business in another state got the $10,000 SBA grant he applied for using that very number. They, they got the money already. They got it in July. News 6 presented Gascoigne's SBA puzzle to the Secret Service Orlando office. He wasn't a victim of identity theft. Special agent in charge Caroline O'Brien Buster personally handled the investigation. His business wasn't associated with that number. O'Brien Buster says sunbiz.org, a public site, showed the All Four Lawns EIN number was not a match to the number Gascoigne presented to News 6. None of the information was the same except for the tax ID number. It turns out Gascoigne and the others mistakenly used their bank tax ID number to apply for the loans. They all use the same bank, Bank of America. They used that same bank number and that created the confusion? Right, because it was, it hit on the number that had already been paid out. So I knew you were the right guy to call. Four days after our initial interview, we were talking to Dan Gascoigne again. I couldn't believe that, that a Secret Service officer would, would be here to help me. The SBA called him just minutes after he spoke to the Secret Service. It worked out, and uh, I have you to thank. With that, the mystery is over. His grant has been processed. His family and company will get a badly needed financial lifeline. It, it really is a lifeline. It's uh, the difference between nothing and everything. The Secret Service is committed to protect small businesses from cyber fraud. In fact, they've just set up this email you see there on your screen. If you think you've been compromised, you have a direct link to the Secret Service. Let's get results together. Mike Holfeld, News 6.